Hey there, saints, good morning. We got another full, wonderful day on this Wednesday. So let us pray in. Dear Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus, Father, we're blessed and glorious that you are still in our life, Father, that you are still making sure that your word go through, that you are still making sure that yours is okay, Father. So we thank you, Father, always, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. So here we go, saints, we got another word, and it's another part to tithing. So it's important that we understand what the Lord is doing. Now, as you see over in a lot of um, services, is they have this, they have the scripture that says, bring all ye the tithes in the storehouse so there may be meat in my house. Now, all of these guys, they say the same thing on that. And it's true, that is a real scripture, but God gives us more insight so we can understand what he means and what the purpose is for. Now, we're gonna start down here. We got two scriptures. And we got one that's coming out of 2 Corinthians 9, 9, 12. And we got another that's coming out of 2 Kings 4, 1 through 8. So let us get started. Let us get started on 2 Corinthians 9, 9, 12 and see how the Lord works and how powerful he is. And I'm going to start at the top. Now he that ministers seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness, being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causes through us giving unto God thanksgiving. Now, this is beautiful, um, saints, because this is allow us to see the functions of how God works. God ministers the seed to the sower, and he also ministered bread for your table and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. So the Father is working in different aspects for your, our benefit to make sure that we increase. So let's make sure that we're staying in the right lane and doing righteousness so he can increase us abundantly. Okay, so now let's move up here. Now in 2 Kings 4, 1 through 8. Now let's look at this. Let's read this. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet, crying to Elisha, saying, The servant of my husband is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditors has come to take unto him my two sons to be bondsmen. So what we have here, saints, is we have a situation going on. And in this situation going on, the husband of this lady, he died, and he is a man of God. And the lady, she went to uh, Elisha because she knew that he is a man of God and that her husband was a man of God. And she's explaining to Elisha that the creditors has come and took her um, sons to be bondsmen for the debt that she had owed. So as we continue on and you read in the scripture and you see that Elijah said, what does she have to pay off the debt? And she told him she only had some oil. So he went and he took the oil. But before he did that, he told her to go gather in the neighborhood all the pots and not a few, which means to gather all of them. Now, as he poured the oil, he made sure that to let her know to sit one aside. So this is how you get your increase, like we've been talking about. The first is the Lord's. When you give the first and show your heart to the Lord and give the first, then your increase will continue to rise. Now, I suggest you saints to don't just work this for money purposes. I suggest that you get all the way in the will of God and do what the Lord and build in the Lord so you can receive the greater. So we thank you saints for joining us today. This is an awesome scripture for us and our knowledge so we can continue to grow, we continue to understand what the purpose is of giving our offering so we can increase in our and the fruits of our righteousness in our members and, and all of that. It works, it's a beautiful thing. So know that we live in God's system, it's a system. And if you get to know and dig in your scripture, get to know the system, then you'll know how to operate in this system. So we thank you saints for this wonderful morning. In Jesus' mighty name, you be blessed this morning.